Hello and welcome back. This is Deju22, and we're back for more of Let's Play Paper Mario 64. Brought to you by MuchGames.ca, and well, so they so they they send out the big guns to try to take us out. Well, you know, as powerful as guns are, I will say this: guns don't kill people. People kill people. But not today, because Mario is going to be the one to destroy these weapons of mass destruction. And, yeah, it is very, very refreshing. But no, no, I, I was trying to get um, a Bombette because she will be useful for this one. Okay, I'm just going to time this really, really good. Although, that would have worked better if I had actually took him out. Okay. Um, Alright, but we can take these guys out. There we go. Alright, body slam. Yeah, we can take them out if as long as our attack power is up to two. So that's good. Alright. So let's just get rid of these uh, cannons. Although now that I think about it, I should probably bring out uh, uh, Goombario. I don't know why I didn't do that before. But let's get the Bill Blaster. This is a Bill Blaster. Bill Blasters are the cannons that shoot out bullet bills. Max HP is 4, attack power is 0, and defense power is 1. They won't attack us directly, but they'll keep shooting out b bullet bills as long as they can. It's a fit. It's a. It's efficient to attack them all at once, but you can also beat them one at a time. Okay, this is going to be very tough, but it's a good thing I have these weapons, and one of them is the fire flower. In fact, I'm going to use it right now. Yeah, there we go. We got him. Uh, let's see. Unfortunately, uh, Goombario's base attack is 1, so his attack alone is not going to do it, so... Let's see. Well, of course, a dizzy dial is not going to work because uh, the cannons are inanimate objects, so that's not going to do anything. Um, but... But I can take out one of these guys with the hammer attack, which has a base attack of two. And while I'm at it, I may as well change to uh, Cooper. Let's see, anything else? Nope. Doesn't look like I have much to work with, except take one of these guys out with a hammer. There we go. And then use the power shell. Yep, got him. I could not have planned that any better. And in fact, that put us over the top. Alright, so now that we leveled up, I'm going to level up badge points. So now we can use six badge points instead of three. Perfect. I could not have per I I couldn't have done that any better. All right, so I'm just gonna heal up and save, but I'm still gonna keep going since I haven't even reached 10 minutes yet. Uh, anyway, what do I have here? Okay, well I have everything else, but all right. Oh yeah, the badges. I should now uh, upgrade that. Well, now that I have uh, three more badge points, I can use them. Let's see, what could I use? Let's see, payoff. The more oh, okay. Um, hmm. I could use a a, a hammer throw and uh, the refund. We'll we'll go with that. Um, but of course, if you, whenever you play a game like this, when it comes to badges or equipment, uh, in most other RPGs, um. There are some things that you should use, but then there are the things that you can use whatever you want. And this is one of those things where you can just use whatever you want. 
or anything that you feel that would help you in the long run. So, so yeah, ultimately when you play a game, you just play it the way you want to play it, but I'm just going to suggest what you should do. But whether you actually do it or not, you do whatever you want to do, because this is your game. Uh, if this, you know... Well, I mean, this is my game, of course, but if it was your game, you play it however you want to play it. But that, that's all I'm going to say for now, so let's just get into this. Oh boy, uh, I think I know what this is now. What the hell? Wait, what, what's going on? I'm like... Look cool. But... What in the hell is that thing? Really? Really? Okay. I forgot again to switch to Goombario, but thankfully again his tattling uh, is free, so... Bowser? He looks kinda lame. I mean, he's lame anyway, but... Max HP is 10, attack power is 1, is de and defense power is 1. Does Bowser really look like this? I always imagined him looking, well, a lot scarier. Well, you know what? He is a lot scarier. Okay, and of course his attack is is weak, but of course you're invincible. Oh, oh, really? So that's what you think, huh? Let's see. You know, I would use it, but against an enemy like this, I don't even think it's gonna matter all that much. So, all right. Well, let's let's use the. Um, I'm gonna charge. And of course, you don't have to do anything special, I'm just... Okay, so it increases by two each time. Well, in the meantime, I'm just going to change to Bombette, since she would probably do... Okay, good, finally I, I did a good job there. Can't even touch you, huh? Alright, well, let's see how much this will hurt. Yeah, I charged it up to... Um, and of course, every time you charge it, it'll uh, increase your attack power by two. So that's how you would do damage there. Let's see, how much does the bomb do? Oh, and it does uh, an attack of four. Nice. Can't stop laughing. Um, you do realize I can hear you. But, okay, I'll just use a normal um, hammer attack. But, the, the thing is, I mean, yeah, you can jump on him, but it won't do any damage because Mario's base damage is 1. But with the hammer attack, a successful one, its base damage is 2. Uh, so, just keep that in mind when you do this. Um... You know what? Let's yeah, let's let's use a body slam. How much is that going to do? Oh, well, of course if you do it poorly, you, you attack at nothing at all. Okay. Paper Bowser. Okay. Got him. Alright, let me do this right here. Oh, well that didn't do anything. Okay. Well, you know what? No matter. I'm gonna destroy you anyway. Here we go. There. That'll do it. And... I don't know if you saw that, but there was a little uh, close-up of Peach. 
But there's the uh, the Cooper brothers. Okay, now here's an attack that, um, if you don't know how to deal with this, they might actually wipe the floor with you. In fact, I think they're more dangerous in this form than they were with Bowser, I'll tell you that much. But anyway, the best way to deal with them is to use a bomb attack. Uh, that's the best way to take them out. Okay, here we go. Me... Yeah, because... Um, if they stay stacked upon each other and then attack you, yeah, it's going to really hurt. I mean, not that they'll kill you, but... Uh, actually, before I do anything else, uh, let me go to the Goombar... Let me go to Goombario and start tattling each and every one of these guys. Let's start with the green one. This is the green Ninja Koopa. He looks exactly the same as a normal Koopa Troopa. Max HP is 5, attack power is 1, and defense power is 1. He has a little bit of uh, a little bit of defense power, but you can turn him over just like any other Koopa Troopa. Do their fam famous spinning attack. So yeah, that's what they'll do if they stay stacked upon each other. All right, so I'm just gonna lay the smackdown on this guy. That is, if I could target right. Well, let's get uh, this guy too. This is the yellow Ninja Koopa. He reminds you of Curry. Yeah, that is a weird thing to think about in the in the middle of battle. But his stats are the same as the green one. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, yeah, because for each Koopa that is on the tower, is how much damage they're going to do. Oh, well, we can also tattle the Cooper Brothers as a... as a... as a tower. I didn't even know that you could do that. Max HP is... Okay, not sure about this one. They do a spinning attack with the whole gang piled high atop of one another. Hit him with a hammer or something that will make him unstable. After that, any attack should knock him down. Okay. If you use an explosion, you can make him fall down all at once. If you flip him over, the battle will nearly be ours. Beat him one by one, yeah. Oh boy. Okay. I should definitely be careful here. All right. I'll I'll use this. I'll use it. All right, well, let's get rid of this guy. Okay, good. I reduced the damage a little bit. Good. All right, well, that takes care of the green one. So he's gone. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to switch to Bombette now. Okay, here we go. Okay, didn't do a good job there, but... Alright, do the honors here. Okay, good. At least we knocked him down. That's good. Oh yeah, that's right. I had taken out the uh, the yellow one. Okay, uh, let me get uh, Goombario, out at, uh, Goombario out so we can tattle another uh, Koopa here. 
Oh, well, let's take out this guy, too, while we're at it. And another one bites the dust. Alright. This is Black Ninja Koopa. He's very fashionable. But of course the stats are the same as his brothers. Alright, well, let's just jump on him. Okay, well, that didn't do anything. Alright. Alright, well, it looks like I'll have to uh, bring in Bombette again. Oh, but I don't have enough for... Alright. Well, I'll have to use the uh, maple syrup then. But then again, that's why I save these uh, items. So that, you know, whenever you find yourself in a pinch, you can use them. Alright. Here we go. Ooh, got him. Nice. All right, now we can just lay the smack down on these guys. Got him. And I'll just use a body slam. And we'll just get rid of this guy while we're at it. Of course, now that uh, the red Koopa is by himself, now he just attacks uh, as normal. Although I don't have any healing items, so I better uh, take this guy out quick. But in the meantime, I'm just going to switch over to Goombario. Alright, here we go. This is Red Ninja Koopa. He is the Koopa Brothers leader. He's pretty much a normal Koopa Troopa, though. And again, the stats are the same as his brothers. Alright. Well, let's just finish him right near. And of course, Goombario can help in. Alright, finally, let's put an end to this once and for all. Got him! And that's a lot of star points. And... They fell? Well, it looks like they have fallen into the very cell that they put the bombs in, so they just got a taste of their own medicine. Well, I hope they learned their lesson from this. I really do. But in the process, we have just freed a star spirit. So, with this, we have saved the Elder Star, or Elster. And for that, that is the end of the chapter. And so Mario and friends beat the Koopa Brothers at their fortress and rescued the first Star Spirit. Still, six Star Spirits remain imprisoned. 
and they must save them as quickly as they can. The future of the Mushroom Kingdom, Star Haven, and of course, Princess Peach, lies in the hands of Mario and his new friends. Their adventure has just begun. Indeed it has. Alright, so now we can um, uh, not only end the recording, but also end the recording session, at least as of the time that I'm recording this. So, until next time, uh, we'll find out what's going on in Bowser's Castle in the Sky, as well as um, what is going on in Star Haven, and where we need to go next uh, to save everybody. But we're going to save the game. But for now, this is Tajoo22, signing off. Stay tuned next time, much gamers.